We want to talk more about this potential second summit now. Our chief White House correspondent, Major Garrett, is at the White House. Major, what do we know? That there is an effort underway to have Vladimir Putin come here in September or October, and that vastly complicates what the administration has been trying to accomplish since it got back from Helsinki, which is to say the president has a strong attitude about Russian meddling in the 2016 election and ongoing efforts to infiltrate the 2018 midterms. Think about this, Jeff. Putin's arrival here in Washington, if it comes about, would happen right in the teeth of that midterm election. So whatever the White House says about its upset or disagreement with that infiltration mechanisms undertaken by the Russians would certainly be complicated by the fanfare of a summit here between President Trump and President Putin. All right, Major, so also the, uh, the White House today had to walk back another statement from the president's press conference with Putin. Uh, here's what he said Monday about Putin's offer to allow the special counsel's team to go to Moscow for interviews with the 12 Russians he indicted last week. What he did is an incredible offer. He offered to have the people working on the case come and work with their investigators with respect to the 12 people. I think that's an incredible offer, okay? So, Major, then, uh, today Sarah Sanders said it's a proposal that was made in sincerity by President Putin, but um, President Trump disagrees with it. Can, talk, about, talk about the impact of this now. Well, Jeff, this continues something that we reported first Monday night when we were still in Helsinki, a concerted effort to get President Trump to reverse or nullify words he spoke in Helsinki or impressions that he left behind. And he distinctly left behind the impression that he was willing to have Russian security services cooperate with the United States, possibly come to America to question Americans about alleged crimes there. That was what Vladimir Putin said would have to happen before there'd be any cooperation with the special counsel's office. Well, to put it mildly, the U.S. intelligence community was deeply disturbed about the implications of that. It took three days, but the White House, after being prevailed upon, has reversed itself and have now made it clear that's not going to happen. Major Garrett, thank you very much.